Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wilty Alumni Grants Program PowerPoint. Uh, we are pleased to announce the launch of the grant application created specifically for you, the Wilty alumni. The purpose of today's presentation is to talk about the grant process, to make it less confusing, and review everything for a successful application. Specifically, we'll talk about the grants program, what you need to know as you plan, how to complete an application, and how grant money works. We'll give you some brief tips on how you can make your grant proposal stronger so that it has a better chance of being funded. Also, we want to discuss what will happen after you write and submit your proposal. The goal of the Wilty Grants Program is to give alumni the support to initiate original tutoring or group pro teaching projects or to join existing English teaching programs all within their home countries in their communities. These may be a single events or small scale projects. It's important to know that all Wilty alumni are eligible for this grant, as long as you are not working for American Councils as an employee. Also, any work that you do must be conducted in a country where YES, FLEX, or ACE Mile students are recruited. You can follow the link on this page to open up the alumni grant application. There are many ideas for Wilty alumni grants. For example, teaching. You can start your own class, teach in your own school, Find a teaching partner or program like a Peace Corps volunteer or a State Department sponsored local program. Or you could find a community learning opportunity. Find students interested in learning something and use the skills learned at Wilty to design a plan. Or you could do a web based exchange, maybe with a, an American high school friend or a Wilty alum. Don't limit yourself. You can think outside the box, be creative. You can network. Find existing clubs in your school, teachers at your school, family friends, friends of friends, even contacts on Facebook. It's important to know what grants fun grant funds will cover. Uh, grant funds cover materials like papers, pens, books, etc., transportation costs, and living expenses. Uh, these grant funds cover these ex expenses for you, the Wilty alum, or for the participants of your projects. The important part is to think about every single part of your project, what expenses you will have, how much they will be, and include it all in your budget. You cannot use grant money for t-shirts, prizes, gifts, durable equipment such as computer equipment and cameras, alumni salaries, or political activities working for or against a specific candidate or party. If there are questions, please email us and we can answer you quickly. On this slide, you see lots of different information. First, our application deadlines. The application deadline for grant cycle number one is October 7th of 2013. Uh, you can look at the table below for all information related to grant cycle dates and all projects must be completed by December 31st, 2014. So obviously you can see there are two grant cycles. One is for the spring 2014 projects and the other are for summer 2014 projects. You can see the deadline, when your application needs to be turned in, the notification, when you will know if your project is being funded, and then the initial funds transfer, when, when are you going to get the money. Again, all projects must be completed by December 31st, 2014. As Kyle mentioned, the application deadline for grant cycle number one is Monday, October 7th, 2013, 9 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. This means that you are planning and writing your proposal between now and October 7th. You must submit your online application by Monday, October 7th. Then, between October 7 and November 14th, Wilty staff will review your proposal and let you know if any adjustments are needed. You may need to revise some areas of your application. By November 15th, you will know whether or not your proposal was successful. If successful, 80% of your money will be sent on December 1st. That's the initial funds transfer. All projects must be completed by December 31st, 2014. You will receive up to $1,500 for your project. Alumni projects can be and usually are 
for less money than this. So don't think that you have to create a project that requires $1,500. That's a lot of money. Also, it's a lot of money and we need to know how you plan to spend it and if your plan is well thought out. That's why the budget is so detailed. Uh, I want to define something that comes in, in budgets called cost sharing. Uh, cost sharing is a local partner or organization that contributes to your project, sometimes with money, but more likely with another sort of need. These needs can be uh, a place, like a meeting space, transportation, food, materials, time and effort, etc. This needs to be documented and have a value assigned to it. It, th it can then be put into a budget in a grant in the section called in-kind support. We really like this kind of support. It shows that your community is really invested, is really motivated to complete your project, and that the State Department and American Councils aren't the only ones funding this project. As mentioned before, you get two payments, 80% of the money when you are awarded the grant, 20% when you finish it. However, if your project requires that you have 100% of the money to begin it, and you have a very compelling and strong reason why you should receive all of the money up front that may be possible. Please let us know. And of course, when you complete the online application, there's a sample budget on there. You can follow the example as well as use the application to create your own budget. Finally, the transfer of payment can be tricky. Be sure you include any money, money transfer fees into your budget. The information given on this slide is an actual copy of the budget template, the budget application, that's part of the online application for this grant. Um, the online application helps you actually to create a budget. You just have to add the information into the application. If you look at the example on this slide, you see different categories. The first, the first column is called the budget category. This lets you decide what type of funds you're describing in the, in the, along that line. So for example, in the very first slide, you see um, staff salary. That budget category would be administration. The budget category helps us know what type of cost is it. Right next to budget category, we see an item description. Exactly what is being paid for. This is where you say what we are paying for. And then right next to that, you see item narratives. Item narratives are a little bit tricky, but we want to know exactly why and how much money you're spending for each item. So go ahead and read those examples, and you can use those as a template for your actual budget. We, of course, are looking for strong proposals. Strong proposals are the ones that receive funding. A strong proposal discusses, one, objectives, goals you want to accomplish. What are your goals and how do they relate to the Wilty objectives? Two, constituency. Who will benefit from your project and why should they benefit? Three, feasibility. Have you thought out all the potential problems? Four, results. How will you know if your project was successful? What will change? We want to discuss a couple of common grant problems that we receive here at American Councils. We've done, we've done alumni grants for a long time, and these are five of the biggest problems that we see when alumni write and submit grants. The first is the project written is too big of a project proposed for too short of a time period. So you should really try to decrease the size of your project and really think about the time period in which you want to do the project. You don't have to change every person. You can just do a small change, a small project. Those are usually the more successful projects. Uh, another problem that we often see is when a proposal looks too expensive. Um, we have to justify these costs and we have to justify these projects to the State Department, your funder. So take a look at your final budget. Does the budget look too expensive? How many people is it for? Uh, the third problem is that the evaluation of the project is not well thought out. When your project is complete, how will you know if the project was done well? You should think through the evaluation methods very, very carefully and create a very detailed evaluation plan. The fourth is that the projects are not academic enough. Remember, Wilty is a program designed to help you teach others English. Make sure that the focus of your program is academic. 
And the fifth and last problem that we see that is too common is that projects will not benefit enough people. Make sure that your project reaches enough people to justify the cost and the effort of doing the project. A strong proposal includes... Project summary. This is no more than 200 words. Who will you teach? Why do they need to learn English? What will you do? When will you do it? The summary must be in English. The project narrative. The project narrative covers the inspiration behind the project. It tells why it is important and worthy of funding and discusses the objectives, con constituency, feasibility, and results we talked about earlier. A timeline. This can be created on the online form. A timeline is a plan that shows when you will complete each part of your project. Also, a budget. This was mentioned earlier. You can use the form on the online application. Team members. No one can do a project by himself or herself. Who is helping you to do this project? You need to give some information about your team members. Also, extra support. If you're getting in-kind contributions, you need to show us letters of support or, let or documentation saying exactly what kind of support they're going to give you. Also, do you have support of your community? You can attach at this portion of the application any letters, documents, resumes, any other additional supporting documents that you want to, that you want to use. And then also, remember, when you're doing this application, the more detailed, accurate, and well thought out your proposal, the stronger project you have, and the greater chances are of you being funded. When you finish your project, your completed project includes advance notice if funds change in any way, a midterm report if necessary. If your project is very long, we may require this, and it is due midway through the project's completion. The following are due no later than one month after the project's end. A financial report. This details everything that you spent money on. Official documentation of cost sharing. Activities description. Copies of any published materials. Pictures. And original receipts. Also, don't forget the cost of mailing the receipts, too. Here's a tip. Document everything. Save all your receipts. Let us know immediately if your project changes in any way. Changes must not be your fault. For example, weather caused you to relocate your project, or your place in a class was canceled by the school. If your project changes because you changed your mind or you spent too much money, this is not acceptable. Just a note about published materials. Sometimes in our projects, we work and we publish certain materials, like books, booklets, professional posters, handbooks, etc. If you publish any, any materials, you have to include the statement listed below on anything that you publish. You might be wondering why you have to do that. Well, the, educational, uh, the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs is giving the money for this project, and they want everybody to know who funded this project. So you can see the statement below. It's also in the grants application. Next steps. What to do now? You can read through the grant application yourself. And here's a link to it. Start planning and reaching out to your contacts and your networks. You can also email Kyle, Laura, and myself, Elena, with any ideas or questions. There's our email address. Remember that the deadlines are Monday, October 7th, and Monday, March 3rd.